Hey folks, this is the guide on how to create a landing page using Notion. So we'll be building a Notion powered and Notion based website with simple.ink. It's free, takes a couple of seconds. Uh, you'll see in a second how fast this gets built. And uh, I'll just walk you through um, how I'll be doing that as well as just a couple of quick features pretty much. Uh, step zero implies that you either create a new Notion page from scratch, like it could even be an empty one to be frank, or you could go to the link that will be embedded in the uh, bio of this post, of this video, and uh, you can either scroll or just click over here on templates. We have a few uh, templates where you could just get started. I'm, I'm using this specific one if you're looking for the very one that I'm using. So I have it here. I didn't take the time to fill it up, but I'm sure you will want to do it based on your liking. And this is step zero. So you need a page uh, ready. Once it is ready, you're going to look for this share. Now click, turn this on, share to web. And I will need this specific link. This one, not the one you find in the, in the bar right here. This specific one. So click copy. And let me see. Once I get back, I can go on any, uh, any of these. So I can paste it here paste it here at the bottom of the page doesn't really matter once i do that i'll click try creating a new website now i already have an account with simple.ink so you can either go this way or just to show you the fastest way if you already have an account um, this is my dashboard so uh, i already have my websites here let's see add a new website paste that and let's just say landing page one two three four five i just want to pick a an ugly quote-unquote domain so i can leave you guys with the beautiful ones i'll click let's launch it wait for a second while notion and simple do their thing and uh, this is it the page is now live so let's see if i click this um it will load and as you can see it looks exactly like the uh, the notion page now this is pretty much the landing page so um uh, everything that is being changed in notion so let's say create landing pages with notion oops let's see any change that i create right here will be reflected on the very uh, website after a couple of refreshes this is just because um cache does its thing but if i would have opened an incognito mode it would already look like the the updated version. This was pretty much it when it came when it comes to creating the the landing page in Notion. Uh, it will be down to either the template you'll be using or the very changes you make on uh, on your Notion page. But um, once you have that, uh, sky is the limit. So in my dashboard, what I could do, what I suggest doing is actually first of all have a look at our integrations and power ups because you might want to add look for instance analytics. You're gonna need an analytics option maybe some forms, especially the forms that we're making here, uh, payments, etc. But um, uh, I'll be having a look at that page if I were you. And then what I would look for is add a custom domain. Now, in full transparency, full disclosure, this is um, available on a paid plan. But uh, once you have a look at that, you can make up your own decision. What do you want to stick to? It's that simple, that ink subdomain, which by the way is free and will continue to be free. You still get a beautiful subdomain with a short URL and a memorable one. Um, but um, if you're looking to go for a paid plan, that is fine. If not, that is fine as well. If you're looking to go for a paid plan, you're going to have some uh, a couple more features. Some of them are gated, such as this one, um, custom adding a custom domain. And by the way, by a custom domain, I just mean... Uh, startup.com or whatever domain you own although that would actually be a lovely domain to own um let's see what else i could edit the i don't think i have any pages in here but um you could edit the seo settings which you might want to do password protected i don't think you're going to want to password protect any of these pages but um you might want to add a custom url so i don't have any sub pages here but um a custom url would be I have this because I clicked on a heading, which gave me this uh, hash, uh, which would be an anchor link. That's something else. But um, by default, let's say if I had a sub page called pricing, Notion would call it something like, not really like, but Notion would call it something like this. So it would add in some rubbish here, which isn't specifically rubbish, is the unique code of the page. But um, what you could do, 
again, if you're on a paid plan, this is well a feature that is uh, gated. Um, you could just change it to pricing or um, our pricing. You can change it to whatever. We're going to automatically pick up the title and try to do our best. So you already have or automatically built custom URLs or pretty URLs as people call them. But um, that is for instance something you might want to do. Um, and just to end this tour, what else could you do? Just, just I'm just trying to give you like the best, the the quick overview of how what you might want to do with uh, with your Notion landing page. Um, the most important one is what I already mentioned: the fact that ev any change you create in Notion will be translated to the to the live website. But um, yeah, as I was saying, a favicon you could create. The favicon is this specific thing right here. So this is our logo, but um, this is the default favicon, so we already add one. But you could add an emoji or just uh, your logo if you have it. I won't set up one now. Light or dark mode or automatic, that you could go for that as well. Of course, custom fonts is a, is a very beautiful um, opportunity for customizing, making it your own. So adding a bit of flavor to, to your uh, landing page. A navigation bar is something you might want to do as well. So it is the bar up there. I don't... So by default, we showed the Notion one with a search function as well. But you could do something like, um, let me have a look at, so if I go right here to Notion, live website examples, Notion website examples. Let's see, those are actually live uh, Notion websites built with us. Let me pick one with, a, yeah, let's see, let's say this one for instance. Does it have a nav bar? We'll see in a second. Yep, there you go. You can see over here uh, how a nav bar looks like. So if you click that, it will go to that specific page. And uh, we have a guide here on how to do that. Yeah, this is pretty much it. If you're a startup, you might want to toy around with custom code, but only if you know what you're doing. But um, these are, this is just a quick overview of what you could do with a uh, Notion landing page builder. The rest is up to you, really. But um, if you need any help or if you want, I guess, even an opinion, really, feel free to use this button right here the live chat button you click that you'll be connected to somebody from our from our team and uh, we'd love to help really but um yeah let us know in the comments drop your landing page below for everyone else to see and uh, i'll see you next time